Um, turn that one up. Good. Good. All right. There we go. All right. Good. Good. Ah, oh, geez. And now the scoreboard's gone. All right. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wisconsin Rapids. We get you ready for some non-conference baseball doubleheader action here from the Wisconsin Rapids Area Sports Complex at the Nakusa Port Edward State Bank Field as the uh, Stratford Tigers get ready to take on the Rhinelander Hodag. Steve Maves alongside Olivia Zimmerman today as the uh, – Season starts for Stratford. High expectations as they have been the last number of years. Marshall Lehman with uh, with another very good team and uh, hoping that they can make a run at the Merrillwood South, which has been dominated by the Marathon Red Raiders the last couple of years, but uh, see what they can do uh, this year. So, it's going to be a good ball game. We will keep the stream live all morning and into the afternoon. Original times were 12 and 2. Much appreciated to Stratford and Rhinelander for having a uh, 10 and noon start times here this morning. On the sixth, sixth day of April. So it looks like Rhinelander is the... Uh, Home team, Stratford the visitor, at least here in game one. So we'll get all that hashed out throughout the rest of the day and have a fun day of baseball here in Wisconsin Rapids. And, uh, again, we don't have any <laughs> PA announcers or scoreboard operators, so we're going to do our best here, keep our eye on our umpires and – Go from there. So we will uh, get it all hashed out and figured out. And, uh, again, we don't have any PA announcers or scoreboards, so we should just uh, tell them to play ball and get going here. So Ryan Lander will be in the field, and uh, I believe that is what we are going to do. So glad you're joining us here this morning on Zaleski Sports. Ryan Lander and Stratford. For Stratford, batting first and at second base is Riley Spindler. Batting second at or behind the plate, Brady Berg. Jack Tubbs bats third at short. Vance Kielman at third base and bats fourth. Henry Zaleski, excuse me, bats fifth is at first base. Landon Zwistlin is in right field, bats sixth. Brady Schmidt bats seventh and is on the mound. Batting eighth in left field is Braden Bloom and batting Ninth in center field is Alex Chapel. They'll be going up against pitcher Max Ratty for the uh, Rhinelander Hodags here in uh, game number one. Give you the defensive alignment here in just a moment for the Hodags out of the Great Northern Conference. A lot of good teams in the GNC, and Rhinelander trying to get back up there as well. Comeback fashion last night. The Mosney Indians beat Wausau West. Mosney didn't score, I don't believe, until the sixth inning last night. We are about to get underway. A little later of a start, but ready to Spindler's first pitch at 10-12 this morning. And it's good for a strike. Again, glad you're joining us. 
Steve Mavs alongside Olivia Zimmerman on this gorgeous Saturday morning. Looked at the weather app yesterday and uh, a big bright sunshine logo was on there. Get these games in tomorrow, it's supposed to rain and then, then uh, right back here on Monday and Tuesday High and tight on Spindler, and it's two and one. I think I have a game in Amherst on Thursday. And Friday and Saturday, I think we're back here. That one's going to be driven foul down the left field line. A couple of additions here at the Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank field. We got Solaris out in left field, and also have. Uh, Feet markers on the fence. 325 down the down the lines, 365 in the alleys, and 380 to dead center. The 2-2. Going to be a hit back to Raddy on the mound. Steps, throws, low throw, but picked out by Rapley for out number one. One up and one down for Brady Berg, the catcher. This field is uh, being put to good use, that's for sure. Rhinelander's going to be here quite a bit. They are here on Tuesday against Anago for a doubleheader at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Just misses a tad low on that one, 1-0. and And then they're going to be back here next Saturday to take on Wisconsin Rapids in a doubleheader. We'll have that for you. Not sure if we'll have the game on Tuesday morning. Hits the outside corner, two balls and two strikes. I feel like I have a game here on Friday. That's going to be lined into right center field. There's the first hit of the season. Brady Berg rounds first, and he'll retreat back. A one out base hit for Brady Berg. And now Jack Tubbs, the shortstop. Saw Phil earlier, his dad, the one of the first people here today. Maybe I don't, oh yeah, Assumption Auburndale. So that that's a whole lot of figuring out Talking to some people that if Auburndale's field's not ready and Assumption's field isn't ready, they may play a double header here on Friday. Popped up behind short, and it's off the glove of Knopfs. And back-to-back uh, -back base hits. Or they're going to give him an error. Yeah, that's right. Two on, one out now for Vance Kielman. The third baseman. A base hit and a pop-up so far for Stratford. Henry Zaleski awaits on deck. There's a check swing, went around 1-0, and oh, or 0-1-1, oh pardon me. A lot of games on the network today. You got a couple of games down in Mauston. Missed outside. Mike Wenlent is going to be in Ashwaubenon today. For we'll pack in a little shoot at Green Bay Rockers, Paul Diamond. Jason Zaleski is up in... Uh, Marathon today, softball doubleheader. Going to be grounded over to short. Double play opportunity to second for one bobbled momentarily, and they got him at first. A 6-4-3 double play to get out of the jam for the Hodags. Nicely done by the middle infield for Ryan Lander. We've played a half an inning. Stratford gets no runs on a hit to an error and one left. We've played a half an inning. It's Stratford nothing. Ryan Lander coming up. You're watching high school baseball. Zaleski Sports. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. 
At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here, go anywhere. a and Process Systems has been a proud member of the Stratford community since 1973. You can find your next career in engineering, welding, and more at a and Process Systems. Our campus also includes our exclusive factory acceptance testing center with full service testing capabilities to ensure that your equipment will perform to your expectations. Visit a and Process Systems on Facebook today for more information. Welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids. Ryan Lander had a little bit of a jam and able to get out of it with a 6-4-3 double play. Nicely done. Good uh, good reach there by Barrick Rapley at first base as well to keep his foot on the mound. Brady Schmidt for the Stratford Tigers. He'll go up against Seth Knopfs, Rowan Wiechek, Max Raddy, Owen Kurtz, Caden Vanny, James Heck, Adrian Patrone, Barrick Rapley, and Dylan Vanderbunt for the Hodags here this morning. A reminder that today's broadcast is brought to you in part by, oh, that was from last night, hold on. Brought to you in part by Mutual Lawasa Insurance, protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualawasa.com to find an agent near you. Shortstop, Knopfs, who had the error and then turned the double play in that first inning to lead things off here for the Hodags. First offering from Schmidt is popped in there for a strike. Knopfs, bat, and helmet, the exact same color. A little off green compared to the Hodag green on his jersey. Breaking balls popped up in foul territory behind the first base dugout, not a play. Other games on the network today. Head over to ZaleskiSports.com to find all of our games. Mike Wenland does a tremendous job on updating and f figuring it all out, and he has been uh, been pretty busy on the website the last week with cancellations and postponements. There's a strikeout, three pitches in and out. Now Rowan Wiechek, the right fielder. Interesting that they are allowing, they didn't even do it yesterday in softball, but allowing the opposing team, i.e. Rhinelander right now, to go to the other on-deck circle. Don't see that very often here. There's a strike to Wiechek. Usually permitted to stay on your own side, but haven't uh, haven't had that issue or haven't uh, had anybody cause a ruckus yet about it. And Schmidt popping the mitt, 0 and 2. Gibraltar and Columbus Catholic softball at 10:45. Prentice and Columbus Catholic Baseball at 11-15. Those are in Mauston. The 0-2 from Schmidt. Breaking ball. It didn't break, but got him to swing through it anyway. Two up, two down via the strikeout. Now Max Ratty, the pitcher in DH. Edgar in Marathon at noon up in Marathon. Softball. Little shooting will pack in at Schwabenon today. That's a pretty cool thing that the Northeastern Conference does to kick off their season. All of the teams, I think there's 10 of them in that conference, 10 or 12, but all of the, the NEC teams play each other today. Not obviously they don't play everybody, but they match up and have like a conference 
the kickoff extravaganza, and they're doing that in Ashwaubenon today. Pretty cool. I think game started at 9 o'clock this morning. We'll pack in a little shoot at 2. And Brady Schmidt continues to pound the strike zone. One ball and two strikes. He's only missed once, and that was just to Ratty on the previous pitch. Pitch number 10 here for Brady Schmidt. Good hold there by Ratty, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Mishkot and Columbus Catholic softball at 2.15. Wabino Leona and Columbus Catholic at 3.45 baseball. And then to round out our day, Marathon and Wasa East softball. There's a swing and a miss. Schmidt strikes out the side on 11 pitches. We've played an inning complete. Stratford nothing, Rhinelander nothing. Watch high school baseball, Zaleski Sports. We know how a bank should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker, and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full time, full service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. All right, welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids. Kent checking in. The whole field is turf. Every square inch of this place, baseball, softball, football, soccer, all turf, except the mound. The mound is a uh, turf, but it can be removed and it can be lowered for um, for Little League and stuff like that. So it is all turf. That one's going to be lined up the middle through the wickets of Vanny. And Henry Zaleski gets on base. Right back up the, right back up the middle for Henry Zaleski. Now Landon's whistling the right fielder. Outside corner, good for a strike. <laughs> Runner at first and nobody out for Stratford. Breaking ball is good for a strike. As, as mentioned earlier, this field is going to be used a lot this spring, this summer. The Wisconsin Rapids Red Hawks here, of course, the Post 9 Rangers in the summer. That was going to be drilled. Fair ball down, right down the left field line. Zaleski will go from first to third. They are rolling them around. Zaleski will be caught up at third, but it won't matter anyway. An RBI double for Landon Zwislin. Just inside the line. And Zaleski. Motoring around the base pass, got caught up in the fencing in foul territory beyond the 325 sign in left in the left in left field corner. And Zaleski was able to motor his way around and score. Stratford on the board for the first time this season. Now Brady Schmidt, the pitcher. So whistling an RBI double. And then in late July, I think it's usually a Tuesday to a Saturday, 
AAA American Legion State Tournament will be taking place here. There's a strike to Schmidt. 17U tournament was here last year. And the uh, AAA will be here this upcoming July. We'll have that full tournament. The regionals for Legion are going to be in at uh, Everest State Tournament here. 3 1. Schmidt walks on five pitches. First walk issued by Ratty. Now Braden Bloom, the left fielder. Appreciate everyone checking in and tuning in today on Zaleski Sports, game one of two here from Wisconsin Rapids. We'll be right back with you on Monday. Two games here, Assumption, Sevastopol softball. Bunts at first base side, beautiful bunt. Second baseman, nowhere to be found. Infield base hit for Bloom on a bunt. Second baseman, Vanny, late to get over. Now the bases are loaded for Alex Chapel. Bases loaded, nobody out for, for Stratford. So we'll have Assumption, Sevastopol softball on the softball field to our right. Then Abbotsford, or Abby Colby will take on Lakeland here at 6 o'clock on Monday night. Foul straight back into the screen, nothing in one. Top of the order, do up next, Riley Spindler. Pretty good resume for head coach Marshall Lehman. 74 wins, just 18 losses. Now it's going to be hit over to third, eats him up, and uh, Heck is going to get the out at third. A run will score. Chapel will reach out of the fielder's choice. Zawislin will score. Schmidt will be out at third on the five on assist, but there's only one away now for the top of the order. Runners at first and second, one out here for Stratford. Riley Spindler grounded back to Ratty in the first. Breaking ball just misses out. Burr's another nice win last night. Uh, just able to finish it off. They were up 3-0. Mariners came back and tied it. Same spot, same location, different result, 1-1. One and one. Christian Yelich hit a 413-foot home run last night to give the Brewers the 4-3 lead. That was going to be popped up, shallow right center field. That's trouble. That one's going to get down for a base hit. Station to station for the Tigers. Another bloop single for Stratford. Then William Contreras and the Brewers drew four walks last night in the bottom of the ninth to pick up the walk-off walk win over the Mariners. I think they play at 4 o'clock today. 4-10? Huh? It might be. Maybe 4-10 Seattle time. 6-10. Missed outside. It's usually about 6 o'clock on Saturdays. Yep, 6-10 tonight. So there's been all this talk and this hoopla about the the jerseys in Major League Baseball and just how bad they are this year. The Brewers and uh, how small the lettering and the numbering is and everything. The Brewers usually wear their – that was going to get by. Throw home is bobbled. And uh, Bloom will score. On the wild pitch, runners advance. Two and one now to uh, Brady Berg. Single this first time up. Base hit here would score two. But the numbers and the names on the back of the jerseys have been scrutinized quite a bit. The Brewers usually wear the Bruce City jerseys on Friday nights. They could not do that last night. And that was going to be hit right back up the middle. 
Two for two, they're gonna send Spindler. The throw from center field is up the first base line. And a two RBI base hit for Brady Berg. Took second on the throw. And Stratford's put up five here in the second. And now Jack Tubbs. And throw down to third is going to be dropped. And he's going to get to third. Slight pass ball and then a bobble at third base. But the, the Brewers' new Brew City jerseys that they were supposed to wear last night. Goodness gracious. Rip to left field. It's going to be caught by Kurtz. Sacrifice fly is going to be had. And because of that bobble, Another run scores for the Tigers. Sacrifice fly for Jack Tubbs. Brady Berg scores. And the ninth hitter of the inning is Vance Kielman. Grounded into the double play to end the first inning. Long story short, the, the Brewers jerseys haven't shown up yet. I know it's a different scenario and different situation, but Medford and Edgar were supposed to play here last week and it got snowed out earlier this week. It may have been Monday. It got snowed out, moved up to Medford. Coach Harabi from Medford said he couldn't send me a roster because their jerseys haven't shown up yet. So back order of jerseys all over the country. And got him looking to end the second inning. Stratford scores six times. They bat around. We've played an inning and a half. It's Stratford six. Rylander nothing. You're watching high school baseball's Lesky Sports. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high-quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good and they I believe truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. Welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids. Before we get to a read, just want to bring you this. Maybe it's not breaking news, but it is news that former Wisconsin Badger head coach Bo Ryan, who was a finalist for the Basketball Hall of Fame, has and will be inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame as a, as a member of its 2024 class. Long time coming for Bo Ryan and he is finally going to be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame which is much earned and uh, long overdue. So congratulations to Bo Ryan and long lasting legacy on the sport of basketball in this state and all of his stops. So congratulations to Bo Ryan as the one of the newest members of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Awesome. Now Brady Schmidt, who struck out the side in the first, now has a six-run lead in the bottom of the second. It's a new year and a new you at Blues Hair Studio on North Central Avenue in Marshfield. The stylists at Blues Hair Studio are ready to help you be the best version of yourself. Book your appointment for a fresh start in 2024 at Blue, Blues Hair Studio in Marshfield. Pretty sure Jason goes there to get his uh, hair did. Always has good uh, 
good things to say about Blues Hair Studio. It can be hit over to second, backhanded, and in time is Riley Spindler to throw out Owen Kurtz. One up and one down here in the second for Caden Vanny, the second baseman. Sternweiss and Sons, Ready Mix and Block Plant of Marshfield, now hiring boom truck and concrete truck driver. Be home every night and work from the hometown team at Sternweiss and Sons. If it's time for you to make a change, apply today at the Ren Road Ready Mix location, Sternweiss and Sons of Marshfield. The 1 0 offering is missed. Speaking of the Brewers, they have a brand new scoreboard, a couple of them. They have one, uh, I think it's over 12,000 square feet <laughs> scoreboard in center field at American Family Field. And then they have one above the right field bleachers as well. That one's going to be knuckled over to first. Tough play for Zaleski. He's going to take it himself. And it'll be a, end up being a three unassisted for the second out for James Heck. I think they mentioned 12,077 square feet in center field at American Family Field. And then there's one above the right field bleachers that gives a lot of pitching tidbits. So there's a swing and a miss. Had the opportunity, very fortunate opportunity last year to go to Milwaukee for the Brewers and Diamondbacks wild card series, one game. There's a swing and a miss, nothing in two. Always a fun time down at formerly Miller Park in American Family Field. The 0-2. And Brady Schmidt picks up his fourth strikeout. Those three fastballs past him. And that'll end our second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We've played two complete 6-0 Tigers. Back after this, Aleski Sports. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pros.com. The future is here. We've been creating it for more than a hundred years. From the most advanced technology to the broadest, most reliable network of sales and service dealers, always moving forward. We lead, others follow. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Man, third inning we go here in Wisconsin Rapids. Give you a little tidbit or a little bit more information about that new scoreboard in Milwaukee. Something that we just researched and checked as Zaleski looks at a strike. Single and a score back in, or single and a run scored back in the sixth run second for Stratford. And behind quickly, nothing in two. One ball and two strikes. So the previous scoreboard that Miller Park American Family Field used to have, the one just before this one, was 5,970 square feet. There's a check swing. 
And two and nothing. Zaleski able to hold up his swing. So the previous one was 5,790 feet, or 970 feet. I don't know what I just said. And the new one is twice that size. That was going to be knuckled into right field. A base hit for Henry Zaleski. Two for two today. So pretty impressive. Went from 5,940 square feet to 12,077 square feet. It's got to be one, of the, or it is one of the largest. Can't uh, can't think of a bigger one right now. Maybe the one at in uh, in Cleveland. That's, they got a pretty big scoreboard there, but I think Wrigley Field's got a pretty big one too, but. Big improvement there. It's just going to be the fourth game of the year for Milwaukee at home this year. There's a strike. Ratty tied up patrolling on that one. So Whistling doubled in a run in his first at bat. Breaking ball just broke out of the zone, two and one. So math is not my strong suit by any means. That one's a wild pitch. Now one Kiram's away from Patron. So I was just trying to figure out the the size of the Packers scoreboard because those ones are pretty massive as well. That one is 48 by 48 feet long. Oh, excuse me, 48 feet tall by 220 feet long. And again, so whistling to center field. That one's going to be jump caught there by Vanderbunt for the first out. Nice hit, five. Making scoreboards and stadiums bigger and shinier every year. Case in point, the field, the field we're playing on right now. A video scoreboard on Southwood County Stadium to our right. Beautiful turf fields here in Wisconsin Rapids on the baseball side. Soccer played last night. Soccer plays again today for Wisconsin Rapids. Baseball was supposed to play here last night against Chippewa Falls. The field was not quite ready enough. There were still chunks of snow, and that one's going to be – Trickled into center field, right past the right past the ear of uh, Ratty and under the glove of Vanny, and another base hit for Stratford. RBI base hit for Brady Schmidt. And now uh, Braden Bloom, the left fielder. Rapids, again, supposed to play here last night against Chippewa Falls. That game got moved to a doubleheader at Casper Park in Chippewa today, starting at 11 o'clock. Last night for the softball game, I think the varsity baseball was probably out here last night, taking batting practice and stuff. Still a couple chunks of snow. Melted overnight. A lot of sun today, a lot of rain tomorrow. Rain moving in tomorrow afternoon. And there's a swing and a miss. Second out of the inning. Trigger number two for Max Ratty. And now uh, Alex Chapel grounded out to third, reached on a fielder's choice back in the second inning. 
Again, one nice thing about these turf, turf fields, knock on wood, that they, they don't puddle. And so when it comes to state tournament time for Legion this summer, that's one big difference between what we have here in Wisconsin Rapids to what it might happen in Stevens Point next year for the state tournament over at Buchold Park because that gets a it gets a drip of water on it and it's unplayable for a couple of for quite a few hours or days. The Rapids this year, point next year for the Legion State Tournament. Makes us at Zaleski Sports extremely happy. And uh, heading to second is Schmidt. 2-2 two -two now, runner at second and two outs. Pitch number 60 already coming here for Max Ratty. Two two right back up the middle and another base hit. Another run will score. Or the throw home up the first base line. And again, Stratford will take extra bases on the throw home that unnecessarily thrown by Dylan Vanderbunt. Eight-nothing. Stratford here in the top of the third inning. Now back to the top of the order. Riley Spindler. Reminder that today's broadcast is brought to you by Stratford Homes. Stratford Homes, take, take the first step to building your customized home with Stratford Homes. Visit StratfordHomes.com to see floor plans, schedule a tour, or begin the design of your new customized home from Stratford Homes. Visit StratfordHomes.com to get started. Another base hit and another run scored for the Tigers. Spindler is bobbled in right. But a run will score. Spindler, another RBI base hit. Chapel will score again from the help of the throw home from Vanderbunt. Now Brady Berg, the catcher. 9 nothing Tigers. Spindler leads from first. Good lead out there for Riley. Stays put, spinner misses low. Couple of singles, had two RBI single last time, did Brady. Long look, steps off. Quality auto body and framework since 1952. If you have an accident, let MA CCI's 2024 Small Business of the Year give you a free estimate. Call Arts Body Shop on South Central Avenue in Marshfield. Runner at second and two outs. Three and nothing to Berg with Jack Tubbs awaiting on deck and walked him. Runners at first and second with two outs. A lot of damage here in this one with two outs for the Tigers. And the new base runner is going to be Riley Craning. Runner at first and two outs. Or first and second and two outs, pardon me. Jack Tubbs at the plate, set a ball. Time is called. 
Give a big shout out to our buddy Jack Rosicki down in Boston today. All set up and ready to go. Columbus Catholic and Gibraltar. Sports Scene in Marshfield is your official fanware store for player jerseys, hats, autographed memorabilia, and more. Sports Scene up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. There's a strike. Mentioned it last night during the softball game. We'll do it again here this spring sports season. Much like the, ooh, just missed the inside corner that time. Much like the summer Legion season, got to get a lot of games in in a very short amount of time. Now it's going to be ripped into center field. Falls in front of Vanderbunt, and they're going to send Spindler. The throw home is going to be cut off. That one may have had a chance at it. But an RBI single for Jack Tubbs. And that might be it for Max Ratty. We'll see if the reliever is ready to go. An SCS apartment or home is where you where you want to live, work, and play all throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley, no matter where you live. Look to SC Swiderski to make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more. So 10 nothing, Stratford will have the we'll have Oscar Hansen, the new pitcher. We'll take a quick break. Come back with our pitching change. You're watching High School Baseball, Zaleski Sports. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edam, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Need a new mattress? All Furniture in downtown Marshfield has mattresses, and you can save like never before. We have stacks of mattresses, save big on factory liquidations and closeouts, one-of-a-kind items and mismatched fabrics. Save on special purchases and rollback pricing on two-sided flippable mattresses. Discounts on adjustable bases and even clearance pricing on floor models. The Furniture People for good home furnishings. Mall Furniture, where value is yours. Oscar Hansen, the new pitcher for Rhinelander here this morning. 10 0 Stratford uh, scored six in the second, four here in the third. And uh, once again, for the second inning in a row, they have batted around. Vance Kielman will be at the plate with two on and two out. As Brady Schmidt has been given more than enough run support here today as he has been uh, lights out on the mound when Stratford has been out there defensively. Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal or industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction has been partnering with private and public customers since 1984. Stop Construction has its own service and fabrication department to assist you with any municipal or industrial situation. Stop Construction, 100% employee owned company. Owen Hansen comes in and hits his, or excuse me, Oscar Hansen comes in and uh, hits the first batter he faces. Now Henry Zaleski, two for two today. He's the 10th batter of the inning, and it's his second at bat of this inning. Bases juiced with two outs here in the third. Maybe the hole in front of it was Patron as we play here in the third inning. Three on, two out. Spinner just missed. Zaleski spun out of it. 
And almost spun back over the plate, 2-0. And 3-0, Patron couldn't find it. Chases it down and it's 3-0 now to Zaleski. In trouble of walking the bases loaded. Landon's the whistle and awaits on deck for Stratford. Three O is right down Main Street. I don't even know if Wisconsin Rapids has a Main Street. Eighth Street, we'll say. They have Main Street downtown somewhere. Yeah. The three one. Miss Ty walked in a run. Now Landon Zwislin. RBI double and a fly out in his two at bats. Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. 11-0 we play here in the top of the third inning. Game one of two between these two teams this morning. First offering to Zawislin, misses. Six of seven for Hansen out of the zone here to start his outing. One oh is a lot of break on it. Just missed low. The 2-0 pitch through the wickets of Patron. And coming in to score will be Jack Tubbs. Another six spot here for Stratford. Still two in scoring position. We play in the top of the third inning. 3-0 count to Landon Zwislin. Three and one now to the Tigers. Right fielder Brady Schmidt awaits on deck. So hit by pitch and back to back walks for Hansen. And now Brady Schmidt walked in the second and uh, singled home run earlier in this inning. Looked promising for the Hodags after that first inning. Got a nice double play in this off the rail since. Spinner missed high. Ten of twelve out of the zone for Hansen. There's one at the knees for a strike. Get Culligan Water. For, get Culligan Water for only nine ninety five a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. That's CulliganH the number two O. Dot com. Good stop by Patron. Two and one. Base is still loaded, full of Tigers. The two one. Popped up, shallow right field. That's playable for Rapley, and he's going to make the catch to end the third inning. Six more for Stratford. They leave three. We've played two and a half. It's 12 0 Tigers. We'll be back after this quick break. Zaleski Sports.
You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids, 12-0 Stratford here in the bottom of the third. Let's see if we can get you a score update from our... from our friends down in Mauston. Again, Columbus Catholic and Gibraltar there today. They're in the top of the first, just underway. Jack Rosicki on the call of that one. Adrian Patron, the catcher, lead things off here for the Hodags. Schmidt kicks and fires. Hasn't had to work too hard on the mound today, but falls behind 2 0. Oh. Four strikeouts through the first six batters. And. Uh, Gets a strike back, two and one. Rapley and then Vanderbunt for the Hodags here today, or in this one, in this third inning. Right at the knees, perfect pitch, two and two. Two two offering misses low and out. Three balls, two strikes to the Rhinelander catcher Adrian Patron. Schmidt from the belt and walked him. First base runner of the ball game for Rhinelander reaches via the walk. Now Barrick Rapley, the first baseman. They'll have a courtesy runner, be John Turek at first base for the catcher Patron. As soon as Patron, or as soon as Turek gets in, Schmidt checks on him. Vance Kielman in on the green area, I can't even call it grass, green area over at third base. Holds off and uh, Schmidt pops in a strike. Kielman still in on the grass at third. Turek leads from first. Stays put. It's going to be popped up to short. It's going to be a leaping catch by Tubbs for out number one. Now Dylan Vanderbunt, the center fielder, with Seth Knopfs waiting on deck. One away. The runner at first. All that. Speaking of the rain that uh, is possibly coming tomorrow. Ooh, just missed. Maybe a little away. 
all the moisture that people were worried about that we were lacking, which we were earlier this winter. Coming full force this last week with the snow and now the rain again tomorrow. At this point of the year, rain much better than snow, especially here on the turf fields. The 1-0. Right at the top of the zone for a strike, 1-1. Ball and a strike to Dylan Vanderbunt, the center fielder. Number nine hitter in this Ryan Lander lineup in game one. Outside corner and missed. Two and one. Top of the order, due up next for the Hodags. Bounces in there, good stop behind the plate by Berg. Three and one to the number nine hitter. Three one coming back from Schmidt. Grounded over to second, double play opportunity. To second for one across, not in time. And that one gets away. Right, Vanderbunt will reach on a fielder's choice. Turek out at second. And there's two away for the top of the order. First one misses high for a ball. Knops the shortstop. Strike out on three pitches to start the ball game. Right. Miss low that time. Schmidt threw 20 pitches through the first two innings, already up to 15 here in the third. Right, 2 1, knocks off the, the mask of Berg. And the 2-1. Breaking ball hit to third. They'll go to second for the easy one to end the third inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. We've played We've played three complete. It is 12-0 Stratford back after this, Zaleski Sports. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross-country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. From humble beginnings in 1904, the Wietrich family has grown grassland dairy products into one of the largest processors of butter in the nation. Based in Greenwood, Wisconsin, the family and its hundreds of employees continue their pursuit of providing high quality products that can proudly be served in restaurants and homes across America.
So John Turk stays out. Turk stays out and plays first base for Ryan Lander. First offering to Brayden Bloom is missed for a ball. We play here in the fourth. A lot of movement out of those breaking balls just hasn't been able to find the zone. to Bloom to start the fourth inning. Third walk by Hanson. And now Alex Chapel. Spiked off the plate and away from Patron. Bloom heads to second. 1 0 count to Alex Chapel. Duo now to Chapel. Patron chases it down again. Now meeting on the mound to be had. Two will count here to Chapel. Runner at third and nobody out. Top of the order, do up next for Stratford. There's a nice breaking ball. Your pitch, your time. Let's go. Two one count. Through the wickets again and coming in to score. Third wild pitch of the at bat. Miscommunication between Hansen and uh, and Patron on the pitches. And there's a swing and a miss. Counter runs full 13 nothing Stratford here in the visitor half of the fourth inning. Ball game just over about just over an hour old or so. There's a swing and a miss. First strikeout for Chapel. Now the top of the order for Riley Spindler. Two for three today. A couple of singles, a couple of runs scored, and a ground out. Columbus Catholic Apprentice Baseball just about to get underway. Jack Weber, Jack Rosicki, our crew that headed down to Mauston today. Appreciate those two guys. Going down there and covering Columbus Catholic today. Beautiful day for baseball and softball and soccer. Get outside and enjoy it today.
Had a couple of games earlier in our schedule. We had one. It was Merrill and uh, Pewaukee last weekend. I mean, uh, that was our first baseball game, I believe. I mean, we didn't have any games until last night. Just missed. Three and one. A couple of baseball games, a softball game, and a soccer game last night. God willing, we're going to have a full slate of games next week. Check them all out, ZaleskiSports.com. Brady Berg now. Two for two today, a couple of walks, or excuse me, a couple of base hits and a walk. The base hit in the second inning, drove in two runs. A lot of movement out of those breaking balls, just except to Chapel, hasn't been able to find that zone. Spindler leads from first. Good lead over there for Riley. And again, gets away from Patron. Spindler takes second. Two and nothing to Brady Berg. The breaker, again, that just spins out of the zone. And Berg takes first. Fifth walk issued by Hansen. And now Jack Tubbs at the plate. Let's see if we get you some score updates here from the Red Raiders. Baseball taking on Chai High today. There's a swing and a miss. By Tubbs. Wisconsin Rapids, Chippewa Falls today. Baseball doubleheader. Wisconsin Rapids last year out hit the back or the head of Tubbs. But I remember very, very well because the weather last year wasn't great, but. It wasn't uh, wasn't sensational or wasn't uh, terrible either. Wisconsin Rapids last year played their first 12 games at home because of weather and having this opportunity to play here. And it'll have a pitching change with the bases loaded and one out. And... Uh, so like Owen Kurtz might be the reliever that Rhinelander will bring in here to just try and get out of this this ball game here today. Looks like James Heck will head out to the outfield and Hansen will head over to third base. We'll take a quick break. Come back and uh Give you our pitching change. Watch high school baseball, Zaleski Sports. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. 
We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. Buy three Goodyear tires and one is free has been extended at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus get up to $200 back on four installed Goodyear tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in March at Sherrill Tire and Auto. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here. Go anywhere. All right, Owen Kurtz, the new pitcher for for Rhinelander, comes in with the bases loaded and one out. Oscar Hansen, at day to forget. Vance Kielman, the batter. Five walks for Hansen, two hit by pitches, one strikeout. There's a swing and a miss. There's a swing and a miss. Strikes him out. Two away. Now Henry Zaleski, two for two today, a couple of singles and a walk. Right past third and a foul. Nothing in one, two, Zaleski. The 0 1. Outside. Got it called. 0 1 2. Just missed. 1 and 2. Prentice and Columbus Catholic running a tad bit late. The game previous. From what Jack Weber put in the chat box, ran a little long. One ball and two strikes. Didn't miss by much. Runs even at two and two. The two two offering. Fouled out of play near the batting cage area. The softball area as well. Bases full of Tigers. Spindler, Berg, and Tubbs. Two two. Hit over to short. Heads over to second, and that'll end. The Fourth inning, only a run. Tigers leave two. We've played three and a half. 13 nothing Stratford back after this. Celeski Sports. A and B Process Systems has been a proud member of the Stratford community since 1973. You can find your next career in engineering, welding, and more at A and B Process Systems. Our campus also includes our exclusive factory acceptance testing center 
with full service testing capabilities to ensure that your equipment will perform to your expectations. Visit A&B Process Systems on Facebook today for more information. should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Rowan Wiecek to lead things off here for Ryan Lander in the home half of the fourth inning. 13-0 Stratford. We hit to center. It's going to be a diving catch made by Alex Chapel to take away a base hit. Wow. Didn't think he'd be able to get over there. Laid out to make the catch. Alex Chapel with a web gem. Wow. Nicely done, young man. Breaking ball, hit up the middle, and there's the first base hit of the ball game for Rhinelander. And that was going to be Max Ratty. So after all the excitement that Chapel just helped out uh, Brady Schmidt, Ratty poked one back up the middle. That's the first hit of the ball game for Rhinelander. Swing and a miss by Owen Kurtz. Web gem early this year for the Stratford Tigers. Outstanding. Breaking ball popped up. Foul territory over on it. Coming back and making the catch over there is Vance Kielman in foul territory. There's two away now for Caden Vanny. Two excellent defensive plays here for Stratford in the fourth inning. Missed high for a ball, one and nothing. Kind of put the little more juice and life into this ball game after uh, Stratford has dominated Chapel with an electrifying play for Stratford. There 
Hit into left center field. There's a base hit. Max Ratty not risking anything there. A couple of hits in the inning for the Hodags. James Heck, the third baseman, or left fielder now. Two on and two out for Rhinelander. Behind the fastball, nothing and one. Go one. Grounded over to third. Kielman gobbles it up. High throw. Did they get the tag? And he dropped the ball. And Rhinelander will score. So the tag was there, but the ball came out of the glove of Zaleski. So Rhinelander gets on the board here in the fourth. Now there's runners at the corners for, I believe, John Turek. Nope, it'll still be Adrian Patron. Not really sure what James Heck is <laughs> doing over at first, leading off first base, and Brady Schmidt was not even on the mound yet. Runners at the corners and two outs for the Hodags for Adrian Patron. Pops it in for a strike. The Hodags get on the board here in the fourth. A couple of hits and an error. Breaking ball chopped foul past third. Nothing in two as Bloom is about to retrieve it, and they said let it go. The 0-2. Pitch number 50 is good for a strike. And strike three is called, and that'll end our fourth inning. Rhinelander gets one on a couple of hits. They leave two. You've played four. 13-1, Stratford. Back after this, Seleski Sports. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first-time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full-time, full-service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high-quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high-quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Couple of defensive changes here for the Hodags as we head into the fifth inning. Tyler Sheraton will head to second base and Connor Augustine out to right field. And Chandler Servant, the new catcher for Ryan Lander here in the fifth. Landon's a whistling. Uh, at the plate for Stratford. Even 
Brings it up at a ball and strike now to Zwisslin. Two and one. Oof. Didn't miss by much. Three and one to uh, the whistling. Second walk drawn by Landon today. And now Brady Schmidt for Stratford in the top of the fifth. Runner at first, and nobody out. Big swing and a big miss. Other games about to get underway today. Marathon and uh, Edgar softball at noon for Marathon. Prentice, Columbus Catholic baseball. Columbus Catholic up on Gibraltar and softball 8-1. They're in the bottom of the second inning in Boston. Woodside Sports Complex. Prentice Columbus Catholic just underway. Throw down to second is high and late. And Zawislin will steal second. Looks like they do have the stream alive in Marathon. Pretty cool triangular that they have in Marathon every year, fouled straight back. Marathon Edgar, and then Edgar Wasa East, and then Wasa East takes on Marathon to close out the day. The one two. Lifted to center. Coming in on it is Vanderbunt. He's going to make the catch. For the out. One away for Braden Bloom. A single, a strike on a walk today for Braden. A little bit of everything for the Stratford left fielder. Runner at second is Landon Zawislin. One one. There's a swing and a miss. Ball and two strikes to the Stratford left fielder, Braden Bloom. Alex Chapel waits on deck. A little warm up action in the Stratford bullpen as well. Evens it up at two and two. Breaking ball is a beauty and a strikeout. Two away now for Alex Chapel. Besides the double play in the first inning by Ryan Lander defensively, Chapel with the most impressive defensive play so far today. Diving catch in the bottom half of the last inning. In center field for Stratford at, the, at that time. Preserving a 
Brady Schmidt no hitter. And then the very next pitch, Max Wrighty singled up the middle. And Rhinelander ended up scoring in the last half inning. They will have seven, eight, and nine, or excuse me, eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of the fifth. Hits foul past third, one and two. Owen Kurtz trying to keep the deficit at just 12. They would need at least three in the fifth to keep it alive. And got him looking to end the fifth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left on via the walk. We've played four and a half. It is Stratford 13, Rhinelander 1. Rhinelander needs 3 to keep the game alive. Otherwise, we're going to say goodbye to game 1. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth after this. Seleski Sports. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. and They, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a... A great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express PressPros.com. Welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids as Drew Gage, the new pitcher for Stratford here in the bottom of the fifth inning. 13-1 Tigers. Again, Rhinelander needs three to keep this game alive. Otherwise, we're going to finish up this game and I would assume about half hour, if that, maybe 20 minutes. Not a long time between games. I'll start up game two. We'll keep this stream live between games. One reason we don't have another one made. So <laughs> there's a swing and a miss to John Turek. Gage sets and fires. Hit over to third. Uh, Going to be gobbled up there by Kielman. Makes a strong throw to retire Turk. One up and one down for Dylan Vanderbunt. away from Berg. 1-0. Six in the second, six in the third. A single tally in the fourth for Stratford. Rhinelander had a tally in the fourth as well. Berg behind the count, two and nothing. Does miss three and nothing. Top of the order, two up next for the Hodags. And a 
four pitch walk to the number nine hitter. Now Seth Nofts, Nofts for the Hood Eggs with one on and one out. Top of the order here for Rhinelander. Drew Gage sets and five in a row out of the zone for Stratford right-hander. There's a strike. Ball and two strikes now to the uh, Hodeg shortstop. Break the ball, didn't break. Two and two over the head of Knopf's. Count runs full now. Runner at first and one out. Rowan Wechak awaits on deck. It's not going to matter anyway as the a balk was called. As Vanderbunt will head to second the pitch will not count on Dylan Gage. Oh, Drew Gage, not Dylan. Not sure why I said Dylan. And nonetheless, back-to-back -back walks here. Or is that first and second for Rowan Wechak? And that will be uh, Tyler Cheriton. Earns that first and second with one out. This is low for a ball. Fouled into the screen, evens it up at a ball and strike. One one. Gage misses again. Two balls and a strike with one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Long look for Gage. And pops him in for a strike. Two and two. Foul straight back into the screen. Max Ratty, who had the first hit of the game for Rylander today, back in the fourth inning, is on deck. Two balls and two strikes.
Gage steps off to reset and regroup. Two, two, low again. Count runs full again. Second straight batter. And got him looking. Backwards K and there's two away here in the fifth for Max Ratty. Strikeout and a single today for Max. Singled right back up the middle. Pass Spindler at second. Back in the fourth. Two on, two out. 13-1 Stratford, bottom of the fifth. Right down the gut for a strike. Gage quickly ahead, 0-2. Rylander down to their final strike here in game one. Shakes two off, gets a third one that he likes as Drew Gage. Kicks and fires home. Going to be weakly hit over to a second to first. And Gage finds the plate or the base. And a nice one three put out there, or excuse me, three one put out to end game one. All Stratford, they scored six in the second, six in the third, one in the fourth. They go on to win game one, 13 to one. We'll take a probably a 20 minute break or so. We'll get reset and the lineups reset. And be back with game two. Again, game one, 13 1, Stratford. Be back with game two in about. Oh, we'll figure it out. About 20 minutes or a half hour, I would assume. But we'll be back with the first pitch at about, let's say, 12 30 or 12 15. We'll figure it out. We'll put it on the scoreboard or in the or on the screen or in the chat box on YouTube when game two will resume. Game one, 13 1 Stratford. Be back with game two in just a little while on Selesky Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, we ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy.
We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fierro, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caseri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you.
job as usual. Yeah. Good afternoon now, everybody, and welcome back to Wisconsin Rapids. Game two of this non-conference baseball doubleheader, Stratford and Rhinelander. Stratford took game one 13-1, including six runs in the second, six runs in the third, and uh, then a single tally in the fourth inning. Rhinelander got a run in the fourth as well, winning pitcher was Brady Schmidt, and Stratford will be the home team in game number two. I had previously thought we were going to start at about 12.30. Rhinelander still out on the field throwing the ball around, so likely 12.35 or so. Uh, starting lineups pretty similar to the first game for Stratford. Riley Spindler batting first at second. Batting second behind the plate is Brady Berg. Batting third at short is Jack Tubbs. Batting fourth at third is Vance Kielman. Batting fifth and doing the pitching is Henry Zaleski. Batting sixth at or in right field is Landon Zwislin. Batting seventh in at first and the DH is Brady Schmidt. Batting eighth in the left field is Riley Croning. And batting ninth in center field is Alex Chapel. For Rhinelander, again, very similar lineup that they had, almost identical to what they had in game number one. Batting first and at short is Seth Knopfs. Batting second in center field is Rowan Wiecek. Batting third and doing the DHing is Max Raddy. Batting fourth in left field is Owen Kurtz. Batting fifth and at second base is Caden Vanny. Batting sixth in the right field is James Heck. Batting seventh and behind the plate is Adrian Patron. Batting eighth and at first base is John Turek. And batting ninth and doing the pitching is Dylan Vanderbunt. And at third base is Oscar Hansen. Max Ratty catching for, or excuse me, DHing for him. So that is where we stand here in game two. Ryan Leonard changing up their. Uniform tops as well. Spiffy greens here in game two. They'll be going up against the hard throwing right hander in Henry Zaleski. Reminder that today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Mutual Lavoss Insurance. Mutual Lavoss Insurance protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutuallavoss.com to find agents near you. And beautiful afternoon for high school baseball here on Zaleski Sports and not just in Wisconsin Rapids. We've got games all over the place, baseball and softball. we got Gibraltar and Columbus Catholic softball. I believe Columbus run-ruled Gibraltar in softball. Looks like it was 10-1, to 1, and then I'm assuming Columbus got another one or a couple more. They won that one by run rule. Mark Prentice and Columbus Catholic Baseball. Columbus Catholic up 8-0 on Prentice right now. They're in the bottom of the third inning. Our game, Marathon Edgar softball. Edgar's going to have a down year this year, I would think, in softball without Michaela Workus playing this year. The first offering from Henry Zaleski this afternoon is at 12.35. Misses for a ball. We'll pack in Little Shoots. First pitch at about 2 o'clock this afternoon in Green Bay. That's going to be foul at the plate. Evens it up at a ball and strike. Soccer going on at Southwood County Stadium to our left. Farsi about, and there's a strike to Knopf, says Seth is spinning out of the way on the spinner from Zaleski. 
Varsity soccer at about 1 o'clock, I think, this afternoon. They were practicing on there. They were kicking the ball around on the softball field behind us in between the games. Good crowd on hand here this afternoon. Again, picture perfect weather-wise. And Zaleski spikes one into the ground. And the counter runs full at three and two. It takes a little while to get your footing figured out on that mound for some. And a leadoff walk for Ryan Lander offensively. Now Rowan Wiechek, the center fielder. Inside corner for a strike. Breaking ball is a spinner and a beauty. It's nothing in two. Over the top of the head that time to Wechak and his ball in two strikes. And strikes out Wechak on four pitches. And there's one away. First out and a first strikeout. Now Max Ratty, who had the first hit of the game for Rhinelander in the fourth inning in game number one. And came around to score the lone run for the Hodags. Owen oh, Kurtz, the left fielder, waits on deck. <laughs> Tough read there, late read by Knopfs, and it's one and nothing. Give a shout out to Berg and Patron here, the two catchers today. Ball on the strike now to Ratty the DH. Starting on the mound in game one. Long look, there goes Knopfs, rolls in there, and a stolen base for Seth. Runner at second and one out. Outside corner, pop submit, evens it up at two and two. Zaleski comes set. Breaking ball off the end of the bat, staying alive. Swung on him, yes, big strikeout there by Zaleski, and there's two away. <laughs> Owen Kurtz with the runner in a scoring position and two outs. Another breaking ball, and it's nothing in one. I appreciate everyone tuning in here this afternoon. There's a swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh Zaleski comes set and ends up striking out the side. Throw down to first, and that will retire 
Ryan Lander here in the first. It's a leadoff walk and three straight strikeouts to end the first. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left. We've played a half an inning. Ryan Lander, nothing. Stratford coming up. You're watching High School Baseball. Zaleski Sports. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross-country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pressprose.com. Riley Spindler to lead things off here for Stratford in the first, followed by Brady Berg, Jack Tubbs, Vance Kielman, Henry Zaleski, Landon Zwistlin, Brady Schmitz, Riley Craning. Croning and Alex Chapel for for uh, for Stratford. <laughs> Dylan Vanderbunt. On the hill here in game number two for the Hodags. Give you the defensive alignment here in just a moment for Ryan Lander after Spindler's at bat. Throw down to second, and we're about to get back underway. It's a new year and a new you at Blues Hair Studio on North Central Avenue in Marshfield. The stylists at Blues Hair Studio are ready to help you be the best version of yourself. Book your appointment for a fresh start in 2024 at Blues Hair Studio in Marshfield. First offering to Spindler, Mrs. High. For a ball, Riley in game, game one, ground out, three single, or two singles and a walk. And Vanderbunt. Falls behind 2 0. Oh. Works quickly, but hasn't found the zone yet. The 3 0. Oh. And lead off walk to Riley Spindler. See how aggressive Stratford might be here in game two. Brady Berg, the catcher. Tubbs on deck. Then Vance Kielman. Kurtz in left. We check in center and heck and right for Rhinelander. Hanson off to Vanny and Turk at around the infield, and he's going to be out, oh! caught stealing. I believe that Spindler was on the base and then slid over and Patron hesitated for a second on the throw, but still is able to throw out Spindler trying to steal. Nicely done again by the middle infield for Rhinelander. Knopfs and uh, this time Patron behind the plate. Go, 
He races a leadoff walk. And there's a strike. Jack Tubbs awaits on deck. Breaking ball and got him. A walk and a strikeout. And there's two away here in the Stratford's in the Stratford first. Tubbs looks at a spinner and just misses high. Rhinelander last year finished at eight and fourteen overall, four and eight in the GNC. You got him, Dylan. And missed to low again, three and nothing. Rhinelander, the largest enrollment school in the GNC. Just under 800 students, according to our Wisconsin baseball, baseball Wisconsin, uh, WBCA magazine. That's going to be hit over to short. Knopfs will step and throw out Vance Gillen. Good stretch over there at first by Turk, and that'll end our first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left on via the walk. We've played an incomplete. Stratford zero, Rhinelander zero. Watching high school baseball, Zaleski Sports. A and B Process Systems has been a proud member of the Stratford community since 1973. You can find your next career in engineering, welding, and more at A and B Process Systems. Our campus also includes our exclusive factory acceptance testing center with full service testing capabilities to ensure that your equipment will perform to your expectations. Visit a and Process Systems on Facebook today for more information. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full time, full service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. Caden Vanny to lead things off here for Rhinelander in the visitor half of the second inning. Followed by Heck and Patron. First offering from Zaleski is low for a strike and it's 0 and 1. Just a bit inside.
two and one to the Rhinelander second baseman. Hit over to third, backhanded by Kielman. Just beat it out. And field base hit for Caden Vanny. Runner at first, and uh, nobody out for James Heck, the right fielder. Blew it past him, does Zaleski, and it's nothing in one. Runner at first and nobody out. A ball and a strike to James Heck. Ball and two strikes. Zaleski comes set. Missed outside, two and two. Runner at first and nobody out here in the Rhinelander second. A swing and a miss. Strike at number four for Zaleski, and there's one away here for Adrian Patron, the catcher. Balls and a strike, had him leaning, just able to get back. That's going to be hit, weakly hit too short. Tough play for Tubbs. It's going to be safe. Patron reaches first. Couple of hits in the inning for the Hodags. See if they run for Patron or not. And I think they're going to let him stay on the base paths.
Foul straight back into the screen. John Turk, the first baseman. Way out in front. 0-2 now to Turk, the first baseman. No balls and two strikes. Long look for Zaleski into Berg. High chopper over to first. Going to take it himself. Will be Schmidt. Everybody will advance. But two away now for Dylan Vanderbunt. We popped up shallow center. Tough play. It's going to fall in front of Chapel. Two will score for the Tigers. Or excuse me, for the Hodags. Missed play out there by the Tigers. As you heard the Stratford dugout, that is a play for Alex Chapel to make, and he did not. And two will score. Two RBI base hit for Dylan Vanderbunt. And now back to the top of the order. Hodags lead 2-0. That's going to be hit to center. Chapel coming in on it, and that'll end. The Hodags second inning, but they score twice on three hits. They leave a runner stranded. We've played an inning and a half. It is Rhinelander 2 and Stratford nothing. You're watching high school baseball at Zaleski Sports. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Bottom of the second inning we go. Henry Zaleski to lead things off for Stratford. Right, Dylan. Dylan Vanderbunt with a 2-0 lead. Here in the second inning. And behind the count, two balls and no strikes. Reno now to Zaleski. Pitcher V pitcher here. He 
in the second. Right down the gut for a strike. Three and one now. And just missed. Lead off walk to Zaleski. And now Landon Zwistlin, the right fielder. Columbus Catholic up 14-0, I believe, last look over Prentice in baseball. Marathon leads Edgar 4-1 in softball. They're in the top of the fifth inning, heading to the bottom of the fifth. We'll pack in little shoot. Still about an hour away from their game. Mike Wendland on the call of that one. In uh, Ash Schwabenon. Big lead for Zaleski over at first. Stays put. A little strike to Zwistlin. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. Fires breaking ball and a beauty. They have tied up Patron on that one. And it's one and two now to Landon Zawislin. And uh, got him looking. Checking number two for Vanderbunt. And there's one away here in the Stratford second inning. Brady Schmidt now, winning pitcher in game one. And Schmidt pops it up and out of play. Stern Weiss and Sons ready mix and block plant of Marshfield now hiring boom truck and concrete truck drivers. Be home every night and work from the hometown, work for the hometown team at Stern Weiss and Sons. If it's time for you to make a change, apply today at the Wren Road Ready Mix location, Stern Weiss and Sons of Marshfield. Vanderbunt ahead, nothing in two. One and two now to Schmidt. Zaleski leads from first with one out. Gets one he likes and shakes it off. Spikes it in and Zaleski will trot down to second base on the pass ball. Now a score, runner in scoring position with one out here for Stratford. Going to be a line to right. Over on it is Heck. He's going to make the catch. And the throw into second. And there's two away now for Stratford. Running at the plate for Stratford with two away. Zaleski leads from second with two outs. Chapel awaits on deck for the Tigers. Line straight back. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. Take, take the first step to building your customized home at Stratford Homes. Visit stratfordhomes.com to see floor plans. Schedule a tour or begin the design of your new customized home from Stratford Homes. Visit stratfordhomes.com today to get started.
Breaking ball misses just high. One bounces in there, gets stopped there by Patron. Three and one with Chapel awaiting on deck. And walked him just a bit high again. Fourth walk issued by Vanderbunt. And now Alex Chapel, the center fielder. Runners at first and second with two outs. Top of the order, do up next for the Tigers. First offering misses for a ball. Chapel top. Top tier web gem in game one in center field. Low inside corner, good for a strike. Breaking ball spikes in there. Two and one. Does it again, uh, throw down to third, high throw into left field. You know, a pass ball, it would have been an error if he would have come in to score, but. Did not, so we're not. Two in scoring position, 3-1 count to Chapel. There's a swing and a miss behind the fastball. Count runs full. Gets one he likes, the 3 2. And lost him. Just a bit inside. Fifth walk issued. Bases are loaded for the top of the order. Riley Spindler walked. And then was caught stealing in the first. Breaking ball is a beauty. We're here in the home half of the second inning, game two of this non conference baseball doubleheader. Stratford and Rhinelander. Steve Evans alongside Olivia Zimmerman here from the Wisconsin Rapids Sports. Quadplex, and another one and another beauty. Nakusa Port Edward State Bank Field here on the campus of Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School. Rhinelander leads 2-0. The 0-2, bases loaded, missed outside. Three on, two outs, bottom of the second inning. Stratford won game one, 13 to one. Dylan Vanderbunt comes set. And spikes it in there. Count runs even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded, bottom of the second. Vanderbunt gets one he likes. Breaking ball. Nice job there by Spindler to fight it off. Count remains even at two and two. Bases full of Tigers here in the bottom of the second. We knuckled foul again into the screen. Remains even at two and two.
pitch number 45 coming here for Dylan Vanderbunt. And it's a big one, 2-2. Runners will have a head start here, three of them on. Base hit, could score all three. On the offering, runners will go. The 3-2 hit over to first and gobbled up by Turk. And that'll end the Stratford second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Three left on, all via the walk. We've played two complete, 2-0 two Rhinelander. Back after this, Selesky Sports. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. And they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike. What are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Two, three, and four due up here for Rylander in the top of the third inning. Rowan Wiecek to lead things off is going to swing and miss. That's strike one. He struck out back in the first as well. Waited back on the breaking ball and smashed it foul. And it's nothing in two. There's a swing and a miss. Berg will secure the out, and there's one away. Strikeout number five for Zaleski. Quality auto body and framework since 1952. If you have an accident, let MACCI's 2024 Small Business of the Year give you a free estimate. Call Arts, or Arts Body Shop on South Central Avenue. In Marshfield. Rylander leads 2-0 here in the top of the third. Stratford squandering a big-time opportunity back in their uh, home half of the second inning. Still no hits for the Tigers. They've drawn five walks. But Dylan Vanderbunt doing just enough. And his defense helping him out a little bit as well. Nobody on, one away. One, two counts. To Max Rady, and it's two and two. Again, Rylander will be back here on Tuesday. They'll have a doubleheader against Anago. There's a swing and a miss, and Zaleski picks up striker number six. 
Doubleheader against Anago on Tuesday morning starting at 10 a.m. The broadcast of that one is TBD. If it'll be here or not. And then they'll be back here next weekend for a doubleheader against Wisconsin Rapids. Red Raider boys today in Chippewa Falls. For a doubleheader against the Cards and Hertz, or Kurtz, pardon me, is behind nothing in two. That's going to be popped up foul territory, playable for Kielman. He makes another great defensive play in foul territory. One, two, three for Zaleski and the Tigers. We've played two and a half. Still two nothing for Rhinelander. Back after this, Zaleski Sports. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here, go anywhere. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edom, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Brady Burke to lead things off here for Stratford in the home half of the third inning. Just missed inside, 2-0 to Berg. Struck out back in the first. Vanderbunt in for a strike. Foul up and out of play. Look out back there. Two balls, two strikes. Breaking ball foul at the plate. Remains even at two and two. Jack Tubbs awaits on deck. Hit over to short. Backhanded there by Knopf's across. Wow, another great, oh my goodness. I'm going to say that he's safe. Another unbelievable stretch there by Turek. i going to say that his foot was off the base. Yeah. 
First hit of the game for Stratford. There's a swing and a miss. Tubbs walked in the first. Breaking ball plops in there, and it's one and one. <laughs> Runner at first, and nobody out here for Stratford in the bottom of the third. I mean, line to center. Back up, and it's dropped by Wecheck. Took his eyes off of it. A routine catch out there for Rowan Wechak. Took his eyes off of it for just a second. And an error by the center fielder. Now two on and nobody out for Vance Kielman. That was going to be hit to right center field. Over on it is Heck. Can he get there? He's going to make the catch. And uh, Berg did not tag up. Good range there by James Heck out in right field. It's one away now for Henry Zaleski. First offering high for a ball. So a single and an error in the inning. And a fly out popped up first base side. And catching it in foul territory is Turek. Shading his eyes best he can. Nice job over there by John. And there's two away now for Landon Zwistlin. Gonna be a courtesy runner out there for the catcher Berg. Braden Bloom out there for Stratford. Two on, two out. Breaking ball is a beauty. 0-1. Oh Score from Southwood County Stadium right behind us. Girls soccer, Bayport 1. Wisconsin Rapids, nothing. And uh, Zawislin is going to be hit by a pitch. And for the second straight inning, For the second straight inning, bases are going to be loaded, this time for Brady Schmidt. Base is loaded, two outs. Nice stop behind the plate by Patron. 1-0 to Brady Schmidt. Fly out to, to Heck in the second inning. Again, good stop behind the plate. 2 0. Berg, Tubbs, excuse me. Bloom, Tubbs, and uh, Zawislin. The runners. Vanderbunt right down the middle.
A 2 1. Danger territory now. 3 and 1. Vanderbund comes set and walked in a run. First walk of the inning, but it is walk number six of the day. Now Croning. Just missed outside. Pretty similar spot. <laughs> The 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Bases remain loaded with two outs. Stratford's got to run back. Just missed again. Three and one. Groning at the plate. The 3-1. Yeah. Right at the knees. Runners once again will have a head start here. For Stratford, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded for the Tigers. Vanderbund comes set. Swung on and missed. Drops him to a knee to get out of the third inning. A run across on one hit. There was an error and three left on. We've played three complete. 2-1 Rhinelander back after this. Seleski Sports. Need a new mattress? All furniture in downtown Marshfield has mattresses, and you can save like never before. We have stacks of mattresses, save big on factory liquidations and closeouts, one-of-a-kind items and mismatched fabrics. Save on special purchases and roll back pricing on two-sided flippable mattresses. Discounts on adjustable bases and even clearance pricing on floor models. The furniture people for good home furnishings. Small furniture where value is yours. Culligan Water delivers from your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Keen Vanny to lead things off, fly out to right. And Landon Zwistlin will make the catch. One pitch, one out for Henry Zaleski as we play here in the top of the fourth inning. Uh, James Heck, the right fielder, a strikeout victim back in the second. Popped up and out of play, straight back here. The 0 1. Breaking ball and a beauty again from Zaleski. Pitch number 53 coming up here for Henry. And 
another strikeout there. Strike number seven for Zaleski, and there's two away here in the fourth for Adrian Patron. Sports Scene at Marshfield is your official fanware store from uh, players' jerseys, hats, autographed memorabilia, and more. Sports Scene up sports scene up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. First one hits the outside corner. Just missed. Patron to third and into left field. Two for two here in game two for Adrian. Jackson Wadick, the uh, courtesy runner for the catcher Patron. First one there to uh, Turek is good for a strike. That's foul at the plate. There's a swing and a miss. And strike number eight for Zaleski. We've played three and a half halfway through this one. Rylander 2, Stratford 1, watching high school baseball on ah, Zaleski Sports. From humble beginnings in 1904, the Wietrick family has grown grassland dairy products into one of the largest processors of butter in the nation. Based in Greenwood, Wisconsin, the family and its hundreds of employees continue their pursuit of providing high quality products that can proudly be served in restaurants and homes across America. New pitcher for Rhinelander, James Heck, the right fielder, and then just straight up position switches. Dylan Vanderbunt, the previous pitcher, out to center field. Rowan Wiecek moves to right to where Heck was. And uh, pounds in a strike to start his outing, does James Heck. And now a <laughs> quick meeting between Patron and Heck. An SCS apartment or an SCS apartment or home is where you want to live, work, and play all throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley. No matter where you live, look to SC Swiderski to make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more. 
Nothing and one to Alex Chapel. Spikes it in there. So Vanderbunt finishes with a run. Given up. Six walks, three strikeouts. And a lone hit. Over to Short, and it's bobbled there by Knopfs. And a leadoff base runner. And the second error issued by, or committed by Rhinelander here in this one. Riley Spindler now a walk and a ground out for the Stratford second baseman. Get Culligan Water for only $9.95 a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. That's CulliganH, the number 2O.com. Spindler stretches out and uh, avoids getting hit on that one. 1-0. and oh. Chapel at first with nobody out. La blooped. Foul. First base side. Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. And check swing foul. Just able to stay alive. Throw down to second is not in time. Chapel takes second. Pitch missed for a ball, two and two. Breaking ball missed just high. Counter runs full. And the seventh walk issued by by Rhinelander pitching here in game two. Two on, nobody out here in the Stratford fourth. Brady Berg at the plate. Squares to bunt, pulls it back through the wickets of Patron off the umpire's foot. And more base runners in scoring position here for, for the Tigers. Two on, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth. 2-1, Rhinelander. Stratford has had a lot of base runners here in the in this second game. Haven't been able to convert quite yet. They had the bases loaded in the second and the third. Only one lone run in that third inning. That was a walk, RBI walk. Heck fires, breaking ball outside. Chapel at third, Spindler at second. Good speed for the Tigers. Line to left. That is trouble. That one's going to split and get all the way to the wall. One hop the wall. One will score. Two will score. 
Berg will round second. He'll try for three to throw up the line and a two RBI triple for Brady Berg. Opposite field rocket out there to left. How much chance for Kurtz out there? Yeah, two RBI triple for Brady Berg. Tubbs looks at a strike. Walked and reached on an error today as Jack in game two. The ball and a strike here for to Tubbs. Vance Keelman awaiting on deck. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. A leadoff error, a walk, and now a triple for the Tigers. Outside missed. Two and one. Three and one now to Tubbs. Have to imagine that like when that scheme We'll be starting pretty soon. That's Wolpaca and Little Shoots. It does have the stream live, so make sure you check that one out as well. Hit in the gap. No, it's knocked down, but no play had. RBI infield base hit for Tubbs. Nice stop out there by Knopfs, but not able to get up and make the play on the speedy Tubbs. Couple of base hits here in the inning for Stratford. They lead 4-2. Bottom of the fourth with still nobody out. Three runs across already. Error, walk, a couple of base hits. There goes Tubbs. And no chance for Patron behind the plate with the light kick of James Heck. Tubbs had a great read. Two balls and no strikes, still nobody out, bottom of the fourth. 4-2 Four, Stratford. Check swing foul, straight back. Henry Zaleski awaits on deck for the Tigers. Two balls and a strike. Hit over to third, backhanded, and no play to be had. Kilman reaches. On the third straight base hit for Stratford. Runners at first and second. Nobody out for Henry Zaleski. A walk and a pop out. And that was going to be blooped to center. Tough play coming in on his Vanderbunt. He's going to make the catch. And there's one away here in the fourth for Landon Zawislin. Strikeout and a hit by pitch today for Landon. Two on and one out now here in the bottom of the fourth. 4-2 Four Stratford. There goes Tubbs, double steal. Again, no chance for Patron. Time to be had once again. Reminder, today's broadcast brought to you in part by Stop Construction. They're a premier, 
premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems here in the Midwest. Stop Construction has been partnering with private and public customers since 1984. Stop Construction has its own service and fabrication department to assist with any municipal or industrial situation. Stop Construction, a 100% employee-owned company. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Two on, one out. Runners at second and third for Stratford. Two and one now to Zwisslin with Brady Schmidt waiting on deck. Over the head again. Three and one. Take a breath, Ben. You got him. And uh, walks the whistling. Walk number eight, issued by Rhinelander, pitching here today. And now Brady Schmidt fly on a walk. High and tight. Huge secondary lead over there for Landon Zawisslin. Nearly halfway to second base. Or a third of the way to second base. And Schmidt looks at a strike. A spinner and a beauty. One and two to Schmidt. Third straight inning that Stratford has had the bases loaded. Just high and tight. We're not able to convert in the second. Had one in the third on a walk. And the runs they've scored in this inning have been without the bases loaded. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed, and a big strike out there for Heck. Two away now. Base is full of Tigers, two outs. We hit over to third. They go to second, and that's a mistake. And everybody's going to be safe. Running reaches out to Fielder's Choice. Hansen threw it right into the gut of, of Zawislin. Base is loaded again. And now Alex Chapel will reach on an error to start this inning. Chapel flies it to right, foul territory, long run, and it's going to fall harmlessly into no man's land. Base is loaded, two outs. Chapel at the plate. Over the head again. The ball and a strike, two outs here in the fourth. 
Bases full of Tigers. Again. Hit hard to short. Underhands it to second, and that'll end the uh, Stratford fourth inning. Four more runs. Three hits, a couple of errors, and two more left on. We have played four complete, 5-2 Stratford. Back after this, Oleski Sports. Buy three Goodyear tires and one is free has been extended at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus get up to $200 back on four installed Goodyear tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in March at Sherrill Tire and Auto. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. The future is here. We've been creating it for more than 100 years. From the most advanced technology to the broadest, most reliable network of sales and service dealers, Always moving forward, we lead, others follow. Partners we know how a bank should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Dylan Vander Bunt. It'll fall in front of uh, Chapel. He'll lead off the uh, Rhinelander fifth inning with a base hit. Popped up behind shortstop. Another miscommunication, and Chapel makes the catch somehow. Wow. One away somehow on the catch by Chapel. Now we check. A couple of strikeouts today for Rowan. Seleski, pitch number 63 coming here. Time is called by Ryan Lander. Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm as we check. Dribbles it foul. Score from Southwood County Stadium. Just to our left, 3-0 Bayport, it looks like. Girls soccer. There's a swing and a miss. And for the third time today, Wechak goes down via the strikeout. Ninth strikeout for Henry Zaleski, and there's two away for Max Raddy, who's also struck out a couple of times. Hey, Vanderbunt to second. He's going to be safe. High throw by Berg. I don't think he would have. Had much of a chance either way, but Vanderbunt steals, steals second. To an order, Eddie.
fouled up and out of play behind the first base dugout. The 2 1. Bounced in there. 3 and 1. Popped up again, shallow center field. Back on it and making the catch is Riley Spindler to end the top of the fifth inning. No runs, base hit. One left on. We have played four and a half. Five, two, Stratford. Back after this, Celeski Sports. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pressprose.com. Riley Spindler to lead off the fifth. Let's set a ball outside. The 1 0. Breaking ball missed high. 2 0. In there for a strike, two and one. Bottom of the fifth, 5-2 Stratford. Inside corner again, and it's two and two. Foul at the plate, rains even. Two balls, two strikes, bottom of the fifth. Breaking ball is in there and got him looking for the first out of the inning. Brady Berg, a strikeout, single, and a triple. There's three at-bats here in this one. Yeah. 
Heck fires home. This is outside. Defensive change for Rhinelander. Barrick Rapley, the new first baseman for the Hodags. There's strike. Chopped over to Rapley at first. And uh, it's going to be a foul. Fielded it in foul territory. And it's one and two. Heck kicks and fires home. Scoots away and it evens it up. Yeah, two and two. Here, James, let me get you a new one. James, let me get you a new one. <laughs> The 2-2. Breaking ball foul at the plate. Heck kicks and fires. Breaking ball into the gap. No, it's going to be... Kicked there by Vanny. Runner at first now with one away. They will have a runner here for Drew Gage, the uh, new runner. Jack Tubbs at the plate. <laughs> Gage able to regain his footing and take second. Big round of applause from his teammates. Big smile on his face out there at second base. One away here in the fifth. Breaking ball again, and Gage is going to try for third. Throw down to third. Head first slide. One oh count to Jack Tubbs. A walk. Reached on there and singled. Two and oh now to Tubbs. A two oh. And on the inside corner for a strike, two and one. Just past 2 o'clock here in Wisconsin Rapids. See Mavs alongside Olivia Zimmerman here today. Stratford won game one, 13 to 1. Fell behind 2 0 here and has has scored five unanswered. Going to be hit over to second. Gage will score. Tubbs will be thrown out, but an RBI ground out. For 
for Vance Kielman. Hit over to third and foul. Ball and a strike. To Vance Kielman. Breaker and a good one. One ball and two strikes. Missed high. Two and two. Two kind of view Mike's got. Not great. But that's what they gave him, so do his best with that. Three and two to Keelman. There's a swing and a miss. That'll end the Stratford fifth inning. A run on a hit, and nobody left. We've played five complete, 6-2 Stratford. Back after this, Oleski Sport. A&B Process Systems has been a proud member of the Stratford community since 1973. You can find your next career in engineering, welding, and more at A&B Process Systems. Our campus also includes our exclusive factory acceptance testing center with full service testing capabilities to ensure that your equipment will perform to your expectations. Visit a and Process Systems on Facebook today for more information. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full-time, full-service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. Some changes here momentarily for you. Get those as Owen Kurtz swings through a strike. Brady Berg, the new pitcher for Stratford. Berg, the new pitcher. Zawislin, the new catcher. As Kurtz bloops this one to left. Burling makes a nice catch. 
Braden Bloom out in right field. Henry Zaleski, the new first baseman. Brady Schmidt not playing the field, but will resume his designated hitter position. For Bloom. Berg misses outside. To Caden Vanny. James Heck waits on deck. Two or nothing. Bounces in there, right. <laughs> Falls right in front of uh, the whistling. Right. right at the bottom of the zone for a strike, three and one. It's going to be hit to right. Bloom coming in in no man's land. In the Bermuda Triangle there, and it's a one out base hit. That was gonna be popped up. Shortstop side, wow, that was <laughs> dancing all around for Tubbs and he makes the catch. Two away now for Adrian Patron. Runner at first, and two outs here in the sixth. Followed back into the softball field behind us. The 0-1. Spinner in there at the at the bottom of the zone. Oh and two. Bird comes set and got him looking to end the sixth inning. No runs on a base hit and one left. We've played five and a half, six two. Stratford back after this. Celeski Sports. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin.
Caden Vanny, the new pitcher for the Hodags, as we go to the sixth with Henry Zaleski to lead things off for Stratford. Henry today a walk, pop out and a fly out. Patrone still behind the dish. Vanny's first pitch is high and tight. Zaleski followed by Zawislin. That scoots away and it's two and nil. Soccer 3-0 over there in the 55th minute, I think, or 65th, one of the two. Rapids shut out last night, getting shut out so far here today in uh, soccer. Don't know about the rest of the conference, but Everest usually right up there at the top. A couple of girls, I think, went to, or at least one went to Wisconsin to play soccer from Everest. Beat Marshfield last year in the conference championship game. There's a strike to... Uh, Landon Zawislin. Zaleski leads from first. He is the new first baseman, so don't have to worry about him getting the pitching worries as Zaleski will take second on the swing and miss. Brady Schmidt will be batting in his DH spot coming up next. The 0-2. Just missed. Tad bit outside, one and two. Two and two. And spiked it in there. Count runs full now. And walked him. It was ahead in the count. And lost him. Back to back walks to start here in the sixth. Tenth walk issued by Rhinelander pitching here in game two. Squares the bunt, pulls it back, and misses. Schmidt squares to Bunt again and gets it down somehow. Pitch right at his face. And able to <laughs> a much more defensive Bunt that time than anything. Nonetheless, he was able to get the job done. Running at the plate now. Walk, strike out, fielder's choice. 
This is high for a ball. The 1-0. Right at the letters for a strike. Breaker in there and a nice one. One ball and two strikes. Infield plays in for the Hodags here in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball lifted to left field. Foul territory, long run. And it's going to fall harmlessly and remain one and two. One ball and two strikes. Breaking ball and I got him. Off speed there. Strikeout, two away. And now Alex Chapel walk, reached on an error and ended the fourth at the plate. Manny gets him to swing and miss. Looking ahead to Rhinelander seventh, eight, nine, and one for the Hodags. Lined up the middle. That'll score one. They'll try and score as a whistling. The throw will be cut off and a two RBI base hit for Alex Chapel. Nice piece hit by the number nine hitter. And the Tigers add two more, 8-2 Stratford. Now back to the top of the order and Riley Spindler. Chapel leads from first with two outs. Eight unanswered for the Tigers. Throw it down to first, they got him, but it gets past. Gets past Cheriton. Excuse me, gets past uh, Rapley at, at first. They had him picked off. I think Rapley uh, jammed his finger, jammed his hand. On that, uh, on that throwdown. He's all right, ready to go. He's just making sure he can move that hand in the, in the glove. Inside again, Chapel will head down to second. Runner at second and two outs for Stratford here in the bottom of the sixth. Hit hard to short. Steps, throws, and gets Spindler by a step and a half to end 
the Stratford sixth inning. A couple more runs, slash shot here for the Hodags. We head to the top of the seventh, 8-2 Stratford. Back after this, Selesky Sports. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good, and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at staubco.com. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? All right, top of the seventh inning we go here in uh, Wisconsin Rapids. Thank you all for sticking around with us today here on Zaleski Sports. The Stratford Tigers and the Rhinelander Hodags here in this doubleheader. We'll be back with you again on uh, back with you again on Monday here at the Quadplex Assumption and Sevastopol Girls Softball 4:30 start. There's a swing and a miss. Rapidly behind it. It's nothing in one. We may or may not be back with Ryan Lander on Tuesday morning here against Anago, 10 o'clock start. And then uh, on Tuesday afternoon, it'll be Wisconsin Rapids and Wausau East softball here at the softball field just behind us or just to our right. Picked up an impressive 11-1 win yesterday, did the Lady Red Raiders. Over Merrill. Looks like the Holman Vikings are strolling in already. I guess that would be. They start at 4 o'clock. And uh, Rapley Berg, I should say, evens it up at 2-2. Two and two. If I didn't have a birthday party to go to, turn right around and stay here for four more hours and do softball. <laughs> There's a swing and a miss and a strikeout here to start the seventh. Dad's 66th birthday today. Shout out to my dad and uh, my sister-in-law as well. Her 24th birthday, so shout out to Dano and Olivia. Birthdays today. Trivia question, 66 years ago, not really a trivia question, I'm just going to tell you. 66 years ago, April 6th was Easter Sunday. Dad was born on Easter which was also my his mom's, my grandma's birthday. So my dad and my grandma had the same birthday, yeah. April 6th. And there's a strike. He was it up at two and two. My dad's birthday is four six and mine is six four. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> It's been a long day. There's a strike three backwards, K. Two way now here in the seventh. Stratford uh, impressive here today. 13 to one in game one, eight two here, eight unanswered here in the second game. Oh. 
Henry Zaleski pitched well. Brady Schmidt pounding the strike zone in game one. Drew Gage came in and shut the door in game one. And that was going to be popped up, and that should do it. Zaleski shades the sun, makes the catch, and that will do it here from Wisconsin Rapids. Three up, three down in the seventh. Stranford sweeps the doubleheader. 13-1 and 8-2. We'll take a quick break here from our friends over at Nasonville Dairy and wrap this one up here from the Quadplex in Wisconsin Rapids. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, we ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today, and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Welcome back to the Wisconsin Rapids Quadplex here as the Doubleheader finishes up 8-2 and thir or excuse me 13-1 in game one for Stratford and then 8-2 Tigers in game number two. Offense was electric for the Tigers today, able to scratch across 21 runs in their two games here today against Rhinelander. Hodags are going to have a have an all right year. I mean they have some good pitching especially at the top of the pitching rotation. Batting just had to find their way. They had a couple of opportunities, a handful of strikeouts. Their pitching did walk 10 guys in game two here, which resulted in that 8-2 win in game two. So with that, we're going to sign things off here from the Wisconsin Rapids area sports quadplex here on the beautiful campus of Wisconsin Rapids High School. Appreciate uh, all the help from uh, the uh, Wisconsin Rapids uh, Athletic Department and uh, everyone helping and getting these games going, scheduling and uh, field maintenance and all that fun stuff that has to be done with spring sports around central 
Wisconsin. For Olivia Zimmerman, this is Steve Maeve signing off. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. It's going to rain all day tomorrow, so sit inside, watch baseball. Um, or the NCAA College Women's National Championship, Iowa, South Carolina, tomorrow. Caitlin Clark's final college basketball game. Should be a good one. Undefeated South Carolina in that one against Iowa, who just knocked off the perennial powerhouse UConn last night. Again, have a great rest of your night. It is beautiful. Enjoy the outside here for the rest of the evening. Once again, for Olivia Zimmerman, the is Maves. Stratford sweeps it here at the Quadplex. We'll be back with you on Monday afternoon. Assumption, Sevastopol, girls softball right here on Zaleski Sports. So long, everyone.